Let's talk celebrations, the acknowledgement of events. This is year one, week 17. After 17 weeks of doing these weekly vlogs, I I have a lot to celebrate. As you've seen, I've done really good with my being less fat, down over 40 pounds. And again, there's no magic number. The trend is, and the thinking and the behavior is therefore to be less fat. And I need to acknowledge and celebrate that I've done that, except for maybe Easter Sunday, where, yeah, I ate too much. But Aunt Cindy is just an exquisite cook. <laughs> the dishes she makes is just are, are just exquisite. So uh, I did have a fairly good reason, but still, it's really easy for me still to just overeat. And as you know, that's one of three of my tactics of my strategy to be less fat, which is just consume less. But I do have that to celebrate, which is this trend of being less fat. The other thing that I have to celebrate is that Aunt Cindy and I are about to celebrate our 25th wedding anniversary. I made a promise to her and she accepted and she made a promise to me actually 27 years ago and that might be part of a topic of a future of vlog here that I talk about. But yeah, we are about to celebrate our 25th wedding anniversary and that celebration I'm going to bring you along with because starting Saturday of this week, so what I call day six of week 17, we're off to a trip. We're off on a vacation, a trip. Heck, we're off on an adventure. And I'm gonna bring you along with, with a goal of vlogging every day and trying to upload every day. But some of the places we're gonna be at might be a little challenging to upload. But from week 17, day six, to week 19, day three, I think it is, I'm going to do a weekly vlog every day. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button, chime that little bell, like this video, so that way you know to come back whenever I upload a new video here on this celebration that Cindy and I are about to head off on to to celebrate our 25th wedding anniversary. So today, I'm celebrating the acknowledgement that we're going off on this trip, this adventure, the celebration of our 25th anniversary. And it's kind of a spa day for me. So I'm driving, driving, I'm driving to one of my uh, favorite places because they have bagels and lox. And I, I love some smoked salmon and cream cheese with extra capers on a week on a wheat bagel. So that's where I'm off to today to start my spa day here of a little celebration for myself. And so I'll bring you along for that day. So see you on our next stop. Bye. Well, I'm just about to pull into my local favorite deli to pick up my bagels and locks. And oh my God, did this parked like a some old broad what a well we'll go over here so again I'm about to pull into my favorite local deli and pick up 
my bagels and lock. So I will see you in just a moment. A few moments later. All right, bagels and locks, here we are. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Oh, by the way, uh, that parked. I like it. Uh, she said they're putting on her makeup, and I'm not really sure what stores here in this little strip mall that requires a gal to put on so much makeup, but I don't know. You think that she could park a little better, but she's driving a little Audi and all that kind of stuff. I'm here in my big Ford F-150 truck. So, but I got my bagels and locks. So again, let's talk about celebration, the acknowledgement. I'm gonna have bagels and locks to celebrate that she's an <laughs> See you later, bye. Well, my celebratory spa day did not go as planned. It went uh, downhill pretty quickly. The second stop of the spa day was supposed to be a 90 minute massage, but they called me the day before to confirm the massage. <laughs> and then I guess they called me that day and I didn't notice the voicemail. I thought it was the same voicemail that I got which the second voicemail was them canceling my massage because my massage therapist's son was sick and then I decided well I needed to go get a haircut and that was like a 45 minute wait so turned up to be like an hour and a half ordeal so the whole spa day really didn't turn out the way that I expected it and the way that I had it planned so but you know we put ourselves in our in our own moods things don't trigger us or piss us off or whatever we do it to ourselves so as you can see I'm back out here taking a walk and I have to say coming out here and taking these walks is it's kind of like a sanctuary it helps me get centered and think about what is important and so on that might be a future topic that I talk about on my weekly vlogs is this whole idea of sanctuary and the, the whole idea of that we put ourselves in our own mood the world or other people do not put us in moods. We we make the conscious decision to put ourselves in our own individual mood. So I'm out here in my sanctuary getting re-centered and putting myself in a much more celebratory and positive mood. Well, again, I'm going to have to recommend the app All Trails. If you want to get out here and just move more, record your own hikes and trails, or find ones that other people have already done, then check out All Trails. It's amazing. So, this is not the last vlog of this week, week 17. 
because starting on day six of this week, which is Saturday, Cindy and I are off on our adventure, which I'm gonna bring all of you along with and vlog and upload every day and it's going to be a surprise as to where we're going and, and of course this is also going to be a challenge because where we're going has got some amazing food options so it's really going to be a challenge to me to actually stick to my tactics which is consume less right more nutrition and just move more so I'll see you on day six.